That's right. And as you just mentioned, it is going to be hot and a sunny day. And if you're going to be outside, are you protecting your skin and do you know how to do it correctly? Joining me live this morning to talk more, Dr. Melanie Kingsley. She's a dermatologist with IU Health. Dr. Kingsley, good morning to you. Good morning. The most serious threat from the sun is skin cancer. How can we prevent it? So being good about wearing your daily sun protection is number one. Even just going to work, driving in your car, walking door to door, just getting in routine of wearing a daily moisturizer with an SPF of 30 or higher. How is skin cancer detected? A lot of people have questions they, and they don't, don't really know how it can be detected. So you always wanna look for something on your skin that just doesn't seem right. It might be a new lesion, it might be brown, it might be skin colored, something that's not healing, maybe a pimple that you thought was a pimple, but months later it's still there getting bigger. Um, and then monthly skin exams with you and your spouse, you and your partner, and seeing a dermatologist once a year for a full skin exam. Good, good point. How can it be treated? So skin cancers can be treated with surgery or if they're caught very early, sometimes with a topical cream. Now the immediate danger of too much sun is a sunburn. We've seen people when they uh, come from a beach and some of them are happy about the fact that they've tanned. What kind of damage does it do to your skin? So the sun rays are actually causing DNA damage to your cells in your skin and over time, sun especially sunburn that's the worst sun damage you can have so you definitely want to avoid sunburn and over time that dna damage over the years will turn into precancerous lesions skin cancer wrinkles sunspots and just leave your skin rough and leathery here's another one for you does the sun have benefits i'm going to say yes but is it still the best way for your body to make vitamin d so the sun has a lot of benefits. I mean, not only will it help you make vitamin D in a natural way, it also helps with certain skin diseases such as eczema, psoriasis, and it helps with the mood. It boosts a yeah. um, hormone from the brain called serotonin. So there are lots of benefits, but you just want to get it in moderation. I definitely agree with you on that. Dr. Melanie Kingsley with IU Health Dermatologist, thank you so much for your tips and information. We really do appreciate it. For more information, just go to our website, fox59.com slash links. And Jim, speaking of all the sun, it will be definitely hot.